Girl, you know I need, 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 yeah, it's retwist every Friday coming back at y'all, man. Locks retwist again. AT, AT with me. Yes, today we will be talking about Cardi B, who just finally took over the charts, number one. You know what I'm about influence, man. Yeah. yeah, and Kalani, yeah, another influential tastemaker mm -hmm. in that own in her own right. Yeah, for sure, for so sure. So what you got for us today, man? Like? Of course, we back at another week, man. Not and this week's topic is influence in the days. Mm -hmm. So I decided to pull out somebody who's obviously been showing how deep they influence really is in the culture. Right. And that's Cardi B. You know, she's clearly, but also with her with her history, she was clearly influenced by outside sources as well. You know, you look at her history, you know, she was doing her thing, you know, just thugging. You know, she ain't got to dance no more, I mean, but I she was dancing it. back then because... That was that was the way to make my also she had to do that make that move. And I feel like that's one of the things that I, I'm trying to pull into into focus is that, you know, though the influence is always there because there's nothing you can do about that. Those are the powers that, that be, they just always gonna be there. Right. Um you have the ability to take advantage of. It, right. You know, change the situation. And in her mind, people is probably like, girl, you take the clothes off, take your clothes, you're so right. fine. She's like, all right, give me I'm gonna figure this out, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna get paid for it. Right. She was able to, I mean, respect, you know, she got like, out there, do that thing, and she was going hard. I mean, she was famous because of doing that before she was, <laughs> before I knew she was a rapper, you know? What I I'm feel saying? like so. that's one of the reasons she gets so much love is that most people, even though the strip club and dancing might not be the bottom, because them, them women make good oh, ass yeah, yeah, money, yeah, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? But that was a bottom. It's a, a in a certain in a certain respect, exactly. it's a bottom because it's a it's a put, get to the point where you like okay, I'm gonna put my bottom, yourself, I'm gonna get on the stage, almost. I'm gonna take my clothes off, I'm gonna right. get paid. But that's just that's a that's where it's relative, you know what I'm saying? That's depending Very on the true. person. But she worked her way up. Yeah. And obviously, love and hip hop gave her some shine, gave her some love, but she kept putting in the work. Yeah. And now we see her with. The number one single and you look at it in the, in the past you're not the first one to do something like that and be in the strip club and then you know bust out and make it make a track and you know start making music you know eve another another very mm. very influential and dominant um female mc in the early 2000s man she's on the same wave she was stripping doing her thing though had to make it actually get it how she lived and came out with the start doing what she actually needed to do because she was able to stack her bread up and True. do her thing. So I feel like that's another whole level of respect for Cardi B to be able to do what she needed to do to get where she wanted to get, you know what I'm saying? Very true. Um, be, and she's becoming an influence right now, as we speak, man, she's becoming an influence, number nice. one, Billboard, you know what I'm saying? And she's continuing to adjust to the new channels and influence coming becoming available to her. She created a lane for a lot of new women in the game, a lot of new women that come up in the game. Mm -hmm. And for that, you know, what I mean, that's that's powerful. Yeah, she is an inspiration to some people. Yeah, I mean, you see, before she had, uh, dropped the track, right, and um, you saw a lot of the dance things start coming out. People just dancing to the tracks, and she's just putting them on. She's just like, you know, she's loving it, but she was staying low. She was still just, you know, doing her own thing, dropping other tracks in the in the meantime. But now, like, you see her starting to show up on radio shows, right. and she's showing up everywhere. But she's being consistent, you know. She people just, love her. It's like she's just doing her, man, taking advantage of the fact that people want to see her, and she's trying to get paid. So I mean, all you know, all power, all power go to, to Cardi. Fame you know? is the new talent, they say these days. Hey, I ain't never heard that. These but, days, I mean, in the days, fame is the new talent. But of course, much, much respect to Cardi B because she did put in the time. Yeah. And obviously, if you putting in the hard work, then you deserve results, and that's flat out. Yeah, man, that's respect. And that's just a classic example of somebody getting influenced by the days, you know, getting to the point where you had to be in that position to do that, but, you know, making the most out of it and taking advantage of it Very and true. then jumping off of it. So, um, and next person on, we're going to be talking about on the list today is Kilani. Yes. Um, and she was influenced similar to Cardi B by past artists and stuff like that mm -hmm. and culture, you know, just rising up, you know, get to the point where like, okay, a female can be doing this and, right. and doing it at this and level. It's an acceptable thing mm -hmm. now, especially just, nowadays with times changing. Yeah, yeah. Social and, media. And Kilani isn't even like a like a rapper or nothing like that. She's more like an R&B wave, but mm -hmm. she had a whole nother sound, you know, for a while, you know, it, take, it took a while for, for it to grow on me just because like, it's the way her sound was. But, um, but you can see like she was in a, in her in her respect. I don't know. You know, Cardi B just started popping this year. I mean, to say to give her musically, some, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but on that wave, like the track just dropped this year. It's number right. one now. It's the first time she's ever had some of this type of fame. And um, we have yet to really see how she's gonna react to the full spectrum of because she's not. It's not done yet. You know what I mean? So right. I, I don't want to you know 
jump the board because something could happen between now and the next. Kaylani got an album out, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. She's okay. actually on tour, I think, too. Or unless she just finished that. But um, so her body of savage. work is a little bit larger. You know? I mean, she's been around for a couple years. She right. I mean, she dropped a couple projects a couple years ago, mixtapes and stuff. Dropped a project, and um, but you know, she was dating you know Kyrie Irving and dating P and D and all that stuff. Had but, all those issues, and that was where I was getting to where you know those are some new channels of influence becoming available to her, a new level of influence coming available to her, and uh, she was unable to adjust you know accordingly. For her, her, you know, her taste and for her lifestyle, she couldn't really adjust to that. Um, she fell into some issues, you know, right. the issue, you know, deleting the IG, going to the hospital and stuff uh -huh. like that. She suicide. Be able, she was able to recover though. You know, she's able to, you know, get to the point where she can understand and balance, you know, being who she is and and actually continuing along with her career and continuing with the fame and keeping and maintaining that level of influence where she had, where she may not have been able to be ready for that. But we talked about it earlier, man. She's relatively young. I don't think she. Right. I think she just turned 21. She's not even 21 yet. And she's been in it for That's at least difficult. And she's been I mean? big for at least three years, you know, doing her doing her thing, traveling and stuff like that. So, um, but ultimately, like I said, she achieved the balance needed to control the influence the right way. And you see her now doing amazing, doing amazing on tour. Her album did amazing, at least you know for what what could be expected for her. And um, and she's right now using the full breadth of her influence to her advantage at this point. You know what I mean? So yeah, she it's should. definitely respectful, dog. Definitely, and um, definitely check the links to these to these uh, descriptions. And the, uh, I mean, to the, uh, Other the articles, the articles, the articles as well, um, in the in the description, any exactly. other videos. Right. Yeah, we dropped the topic today, as well as the story time being dropped yesterday and the intro being dropped on Wednesday. And as oh. always, the Monday makes being dropped on Monday. So we got all that content that's jumping for y'all, and this week's content uh, is based on influence. So help y'all get that. through the days. Of course, it is Friday, the best day of the week. Best day. Enjoy the weekends, conquer the days. Until next week, y'all. Peace.